When it comes to current account benefits and a high interest, easy access savings account, in my opinion, Chase is at the top of the tree in the UK at the moment. But that might be already about to change thanks to Virgin Money's M Plus account. Let's see what it's all about. Hey everyone, it's Lewis back again with another video and today there could now already be a new current account with a linked savings account that's better than Chase. That didn't take too long, did it? But before we get into all of that, if you're new to the channel, which you more than likely will be, then welcome. If you've clicked on this video to learn a little bit more about your money, then why don't you consider sticking around for more in the future and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to keep this channel growing and get these videos out to more people. So doing this would be a massive help. Now let's get into this video. So if you're already a subscriber and or have seen my videos about Chase in the past, you'll know that, let's be honest, I'm pretty infatuated with their current account and linked savings account. And why wouldn't you be? With 1% cash back on everyday spending in the UK and abroad for your first year, a linked easy access savings account with 1.5% additional interest and another optional 5% interest on roundups, then Chase's dedication to providing rewarding banking to its customers is really in a league of its own. But that might not be the case anymore, thanks to Virgin Money and their M Plus account, which is now pretty impressive when compared to Chase in terms of the interest rates that they provide. There's also a couple of other perks to this account. So is this one a true contender? By the way, if you're enjoying the video so far, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. This again really helps my channel grow and gets these videos out to a wider audience in order to help more people out with their finances. So it would be awesome if you could do that. So what the Virgin Money M Plus account offers is a rewarding current account with a linked savings account that offers a high interest rate. In fact, it now offers the highest interest rate on easy access savings in the entirety of the UK. Yep, even higher than Chase. Now I'll be real here, it's not much more, so if you're already a Chase saver, it probably won't make much of a difference because the M Plus account provides 1.56% interest on savings. So compared to Chase, you're literally getting 0.06% more on savings, which really, in the grand scheme of things, is nothing. However, if you're not a Chase saver, this one might be worth considering because there's a high chance this interest rate is much better than what you have currently. Now, it's not that simple. There are a couple of things to know here. With the Chase savings account, you get 1.5% interest up to £250,000 of savings. With the M Plus saver, you get the 1.56% interest only up to £25,000. So if you're a major, major saver, and really, why would you be? Because surely you would have 250k invested than saved, right? But anyway, if you do have that, then it's clear that in the long run, Chase would be a better option. By the way, once you hit the 25k saved with Virgin, anything else after that only earns you 0.75% interest. Now, the way that the interest is paid out is also different with Chase or compared to Chase. So with Chase, the interest is paid monthly. With Virgin, the interest is paid quarterly, which is every three months. So there's a little bit more of a wait to be paid the interest that you've earned with Virgin. On top of that, the M Plus current account also offers 2.02% interest up to a balance of £1,000 on the current account. Now, the interest to this one is paid out monthly, weirdly. I don't know why they can't keep it consistent, but, but there you go. But the rewards don't stop there either. If you're new to Virgin Money and would like to switch your current bank account entirely across to Virgin Money, then you will be rewarded with 20,000 Virgin points when you do this. This is in conjunction with Virgin Red, who you may be familiar with. Basically, you know when you go to a place like WH Smith and you see those little boxes hanging on, hanging on displays, advertising like a bunch of experience days, like a hot air balloon ride or driving a supercar around a track? Yeah, that's basically Virgin Red. But from looking at Virgin Red's website, your 20k Virgin points could get you a case of 12 bottles of wine, flights to either Bahamas, St. Lucia, Florida, or New York that all start from 20,000 points, or 51 Greg's breakfast deals. 
That's a lot of sausage rolls. <laughs> in order to qualify for the 20K bonus points, you need to apply for the M Plus account, then complete these next steps within 45 days of opening the account. So step one, you need to download and log into the Virgin Money app, because why not? Step two, you switch your current existing account to Virgin Money using the current account switching service, and you need to include at least two direct debits. This could be anything from your council tax to your Netflix account. And then step three, you save £1,000 into your M Plus saver and keep this in the account until Virgin Money email you with your Virgin Red promo code in order to redeem the points. So if you have a grand saved that you can afford to sit on for a little bit and are prepared to go full Virgin Money, like a virgin, you could have a flight somewhere. Or if you so choose, literally all of the Greg's bacon rolls and coffee that you can shove down your throat. So here's the big one. Is the M plus saver and current account worth it? Well, yeah, for most people it will be. Simply put, their savings account offers the most interest on the market right now. In addition to this, if you already have an emergency fund saved elsewhere and want to switch over, you could be rewarded quite handsomely for doing so. Not only do you get the 20,000 virgin red points for saving £1,000, you'll receive 1.5% interest on that money and you'll receive a further 2.02% interest if you have another £1,000 that you can hold in their M plus current account for however long. All of this for no fee whatsoever for having the account. Plus. The account uses the MasterCard network, so your card will be accepted quite literally everywhere, both in the UK and abroad. And of course, these accounts are regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority, and any money saved up to £85,000 is fully protected by the Financial Services Compensation Scheme. In addition to all of this, if you're currently debating whether you should sign up to either Chase or Virgin Money, it's worth noting that Chase are currently experiencing an incredibly high level of new applications at the moment. This is thanks to their very popular referral scheme, which ended on the 7th of June. Because of this, new applicants are being placed into a waiting room, and they're estimating that approvals can take between three to five weeks from the initial application. By the way, if any of you sign up to a Chase account using my referral link before the 7th of June that I previously put in the descriptions of all of my videos when it was going on, first of all, a massive, massive thank you for doing so. I really do appreciate that. But if you haven't yet received your £20 bonus, don't panic. You will still get this as soon as you're approved, even if it's after the 7th of June. So with all of this being said, am I going to switch from Chase to Virgin? No. For me, there's no point in doing this just to get an extra 0.06% on my savings, which is with an emergency fund and any cash for other short-term goals like my upcoming holiday. And personally, I don't really want to have to split my money between a savings account and a current account just to get the other 2.02% interest with their current account. I like to keep it nice and simple. I don't want my money to be messy and everywhere else. To be honest, if it wasn't that current account anyway, I'd end up spending that money. Plus, I really do love what Chase offers in terms of their rewards, which are, again, in my opinion, much better than what Virgin Money are offering. The Virgin Red Points are nice, but that's a one-off reward. After they're spent, that's your lot. With Chase, you get an entire year's worth of cash back at 1% with spending, you get 5% interest on roundups, which doesn't have an expiry, and there are more rewards to come in the future. This means that you'll get an ongoing stream of rewards with Chase, and I'd much rather that in the long run. As always, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. If you haven't already, consider subscribing for more money-related content. I post videos every Monday and Friday at 6.30pm UK time, so stick around for all of that. Also, make sure to follow me on all of my socials for even more. Grab your free money and stocks using some of the links down below in the description. And remember, until next time, every quid counts. See you soon.